Hello folks, my name is Mario Pitch and today I want to show you a little bit how, uh, how to tweak uh, TillyWiki theme. So I'm at TillyWiki.com at the moment with the zoom level of 100%. So you can see there is a lot of white space. So I zoom a little bit so that actually the video is a little bit better. So with uh, F12 you can start the developer tools and it immediately starts with the um, um, HTML structure. So there is the HTML element which covers everything. Then there is the head which has some metadata in it and some styles, not important at the moment. Then there is the body element with the TillyWiki body class and the page container which actually contains all this stuff here, the tiddlers and so on. Then there is a, another div which is called the uh, drop zone. Um, this is responsible for the drag and drop input stuff, so it handles all these um, uh, yeah, messages. Then there is the header, in this case it's the right sidebar. So in normal cases if you would like to have a top header, I would use this and put it to the top. Um, and on the right and left I would use nav elements. But anyway, this is the right sidebar. Then we have the section, a section which is the story river. So it can contains all the tiddlers. And as you can see, if I change the stuff, if I change, uh, hover the cursor, the different elements, um, they change. So what you can see here, the blue area is the content, the green area is the padding, and in the bottom there is the margin in this case is orange. So let's have a look and reduce the padding a little bit. On the right side you can see the uh, applied styles. In this case there is a class which is called uh, Tiddler Frame, Tiddler Tiddler Frame and here we see Tiddler Tiddler Frame. What else can you see on the right side? Um, it's the chain, so CSS means uh, cascaded style sheets. So uh, we have, let's say, the root element here is HTML and all the um, CSS rules that I applied here um, go up the chain uh, and on the top, so this is the actual valid um, setting. So here we have a width of 686 pixel. Um, TillyWiki actually has a setting in the control panel, so it's called theme, th uh, theme tweaks. So where we can adjust uh, the font size, so let's say uh, 12. And if I have a look at hello there, then you see now the uh, line height is a little bit too big. So let's change this to 16. Well, looks already better. Then we have possibility to move the story a little bit. So let's say to 870. Now the right sidebar is moved to the right. 870 and the tiddler width, oops, not 7786, so it's a little bit bigger already. Yeah, that's it for the start. So now let's save the stuff to the file system. So call it test HTML. Okay. Now load it. Oops, sorry. Now load it again. So we have it on the file system and as you can see with the control panel the settings are applied already. F12 again. Now let's deal with the TillyWiki Tiddler Frame. So as you can see there is a lot of padding, the green area. So let's change this a little bit. It always starts from the top, so this is the top padding. If I this cursor down, cursor up, I can change it. So let's say uh, yeah, nine, eight pixel. Then right padding. Okay, I go with the this is bottom padding and left padding. Let's have a look at the hello there. Bottom left, yeah and bottom. And as you can see there is already a problem because there is a message area which doesn't fit anymore. 
We will change this later, so left 10, right 10. Okay, that looks good. Then there we have some media queries and I copy this. Park it, control C, create a new tiddler, which I call stylesheet. Copy the content there. And I have to tag it, this is system tag, tags, stylesheet. Add the tag and it will be automatically applied. So the tiddler frame, the width can be changed from the theme tweaks. So with the media query, this actually means that if you have a bigger screen, so which has a minimum width of 770 pixel, then this setting is applied. If the width is smaller, then the default takes over again. Okay, so let's save it. This is the first part. So now the tiller looks a little bit different and we have to deal with this message area. Right click, element inspect, so my uh, overview is, is German but this is element inspect. And there you can see there is also some padding. The element is already selected and we have a padding, a funny with a 21 pixel and there is a minus 20 volt uh, margin. I changed the margin to zero. Oh, looks good. So this is the message box with a margin of zero. Control C. And apply to Tilewiki message box. Oops. Margin zero. Yeah, looks good. Save it. Save it. Overwrite this stuff and reload. Okay, it is applied. Looks good. So now we have to deal with the um, Sorry, with the space left, right of the tiddler. Uh, it's not here. Ah, the section. Okay, so this is the story river. And the story river also has some padding. The first one is the top again, so let's move it up a little bit. So there should be enough space for a top bar. Uh, the right padding, I make it the same as the left padding. This is bottom. Padding of the story river is not important. So left, 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 left. Okay, a little bit. So it's four. Uh, the bottom, I don't know. Uh, change it, don't change it. I'll make this one four, two. Okay, so this is the story river inside the media query. So we take it. Control C, open the style sheet tiddler. Uh, I only want to change the padding, so I remove the rest. I'll put there story river. So now we give it some comments I want less white space okay tum, tum, tum. space safe Oh, there is one thing missing, so we see that the titler now has a lot, a lot more space. So let's inspect it again. The titler, there is a lot of right margin and there is a bottom margin. So uh, we have a look, titler frame, margin.
margin bottom. Now we can move the tiddlers closer, or something like this. So it's 8 pixel. We set it. Where is it? Just the tiller frame. Arch and bottom, okay. So actually, we can see now that the tiller has a lot of uh, space here, so we enter the team tweaks again and say titler width is 850 yeah looks better now let's save it again overwrite yes okay so we have the uh, story area a little bit at the top already now the right sidebar uh, is not right anymore but here I want to change a little bit because uh, I want to have it as text so it is displayed a little bit different in uh, rendered a little bit different in view mode and here you can see this is now a text area right click inspect which is a pre-tag and let's say it's a little bit too big i want to have a font size this is font family monospace is good font size is 1 em uh, so this is a percentage based it's 100 percent of the so it inherits the size of the setting so in this case it should be 12 already somewhere um, we say 0 0.9 which is 90 percent yeah looks better now copy the stuff control c control v tag it's a little bit smaller and I also want to have my text edit area in mono space because uh, there you can see the spaces very well right click inspect so this is called text area Telewiki edit text editor so let's add this text area Telewiki now edit Text editor. Oh, it looks better now. So, as you can see, now I have my edit area also with uh, a monospace font. So, this and edit. Yeah, looks good. I want to have it that way. Now, let's have a look at the right sidebar. Inspect. There is a lot of padding. This is the header. Padding top is 70 pixel. So let's move it up a little bit. And let's align it with the style sheet. A little bit up. Okay, similar to this one. So it's called side by header. So C. Let's move it to the top side by header, but I only want to have the padding and leave all the other stuff as it was. Oh, 
Okay. Save it. Yeah, it looks good already. 100%. If I say, then I definitely have uh, less white space. So you can play with all these settings. Um, I need to save it again and open this stuff with Firefox, which has a better edit mechanism. Oops, downloads. A better save mechanism. And let's have a look how it looks there. And it should be actually the same. Just to test it, yeah, save it with TD Fox. Yeah, so you can see a smaller space, a smaller uh, paragraphs and bigger titles. Yeah, that's basically it. With, TV, uh, with Firefox, you also have the possibility with F12, and which is the inspector. It looks a little bit different, but basically has the same possibilities. Yeah, just the highlighting looks a little bit different. Yeah, so that's it for the moment. I hope you like it. I hope you can use it. Have fun.